In this video, we are gonna set up and assemble the MyStudio US31 Photo Studio. First, gonna show you all the components and then we're gonna go ahead and get this set up. The US31, the thing that makes it the most unique, and the reason it's called the US31, is because the U-shape of the Cyclorama seamless background. If you can see it right here a little bit, it's got a full sweep in the back and both sides, so it really gives you that wraparound lighting effect. You can shoot from all sides, get a completely seamless look far better than you could get with any light tent or anything like that. And besides the background, we've got uh, two LED lights. These are ultra bright 5000K, so you get the daylight full spectrum lighting, which is great for photography. So we've got two of those. We've got uh, two aluminum crossbars that are powder coated that the lights are gonna clip onto. Uh, we've got, these are the upright legs that are attached to the feet. We'll get to that. Um, over here, we've got a six foot extension cord. Uh, this is the power cord for the light. This is an extension between two of the lights um, for when you mount the lights on top of each other. And uh, this, of course, last but not least, is the hardware. So nuts, bolts, screws, things like that. Um, we've also got, at the back here, we've got two 16 by 32 foam core reflectors. Now these are actually going to be used as the roof of the studio. Uh, it enables you to take those off and shoot down into the studio, which is something we're not able to do with most of the My Studio units. And finally, we've got, um, these are the only tools you'll need, a uh, flathead screwdriver and a 7 16 inch nut driver. You could use a crescent wrench, but this really is the easiest to do. So without further ado, we're going to start putting this together. We're going to start with the legs and feet, do the lights, and this goes together in about 10 minutes. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do in the setup is assemble the legs and the feet. So the best way to think of this is you've got a left foot and you've got a right foot. So here's the feet. Uh, the feet face outwards with the flange facing the inside, the vertical flange. We're gonna take one of these, they're both the same, and we are going to uh, skip one hole from the back and line up these two holes and just put one of the quarter 20 th screws through and use a hex nut. We're just gonna finger tighten to start. Do the other one and screwdriver just give it a little just just make it firm not too tight and you do the same with the other leg all right so that's the left leg and now we've got the right leg so the uh, leg goes on the outside of the flange all right so you've got your legs left leg right leg now we're going to do the crossbars we're going to put these back here for a minute um all right the crossbars i've already got one of these set up the way you're going to set it up and i'm going to show you how to do that no sense in showing you twice. Um, but we're going to basically set this up uh, with a standard configuration, which is one light over the other. So to do that, you need a locating screw at each end of the crossbar. So you've got the steel reinforced side. You want the other threaded hole, and you're just going to take your other quarter 20 screw and screw from the inside and do that on each side. Quick tighten. Um, don't worry about the, uh, the other hole for now. That's for the thumb screw. That's gonna attach it to the crossbar once you have it. Okay, once the locating screws are in, you're gonna use uh, these clips. And again, these go on the inside, not the side with a the sticker. They go on the inside. You can pick any hole here, really. It really doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna pick the inside, each inside hole. And then you use uh, the smaller of the screws. You should have four of these. They're 832 screws and then the smaller wing nuts just on the other side you don't want to tighten it too much or else that can cause this to bend in which will make the light hard to get on but just finger tight and have these aligned vertically so these are both identical with my studio stickers on the outside wing nuts clips on the inside we're gonna go ahead and attach these uh, to the legs and the feet so we're gonna go ahead and start at the top, we're just going to put that locating screw through the third hole and thumb screw is going to go right into that steel insert and get that in there nice and snug. Finger tight is fine. Um, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. You want the same side. So one, two, three holes down and thumb screw. We actually don't want to do these first ones too tight um, because we want the legs to be able to bend out a little bit. Basically, the light bar will stand up by itself right now, and we're going to put the second one in. 
We want the clips facing inside towards the front of the feet. And uh, we're gonna count, instead of having the lights butt right up next to each other, we're gonna go one, two, three holes down, have a little gap in there. All right, now we can tighten the thumb screws uh, on the top and the thumb screws on the second crossbar. So you just want all the thumb screws nice and snug. And this is basically your light bar. So you have two of these LED lights. They're identical, but they have two different connectors on the end. Basically, before you clip it on here, you want to decide where your power source is. Mine is over there. So I want the power cord to connect on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. I'll make sure that when I install it, it's on the right side. So we're going to do it on the bottom, kind of tilt it in. Doesn't really matter where, you just want to center it up a little bit. And once it's down there, you just simply clip it in there. Then to connect the other two lights, you're going to want to see which of these ends fits over here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this one right here. That'll help me know which end of this light I need. So then I just go ahead and put the second light in, same way we did the first light, and boom. Your light stand is complete. I'm just going to plug this in to the extension cord. And boom. Uh, last little thing, and this thing is completely set up, and that is to simply put these bounce cards over the top. Uh, you could actually, if you're going to shoot straight down on items, you can shoot just like this. You could position the bounce cards, you know, basically wherever you want. That still allows you to shoot through the middle. Um, and but still reflect light down in there or you can make this a totally enclosed light box just like this and this really gives you the maximum uh, seamless effect in there with the light bouncing up and down so this basically is the US 31 you can see how bright it is how seamless you could shoot from any angle um, this durable background is lightweight but you can wash it if it gets dirty you can't do that with cloth or fabric tents um, there is another configuration. Uh, this light stand can actually be broken down and the lights can go separate so you can have the feet way out. We'll show that in the demo video uh, and you have all the parts that you need to do that. But this is basically your US-31 all set up and ready to go.